Welcome back to The Pin Man. I'm Mike West, and today the guest of honor is the Diplomat Excellence A. The Diplomat Excellence A, I would consider the flagship model of the Diplomat Pin Company, their offerings. It's a beautiful pin. In fact, I was so taken by this pin as far as the aesthetics that when I saw a review on this evergreen in gold, I knew that that would be one that I would have to get. Now these pins are not cheap. They will run you, depending on if you get a gold nib or a steel nib, they'll run you anywhere from the high 100s to the low 200s. And again, with a steel, with a gold nib, it'll go higher than that. The good news is Diplomat does such a good job with their nibs that you don't have to get a gold nib to have a wonderful writing experience. This pen, folks, this is the, of all the pens that you will see me reviewing for, for a while. And, and, and I like pretty much all of the pens that I've, that, that I will review. This is my favorite. Even from some of the pens that I have made, Excellence A is, is just my favorite. It's, it's a beautiful pen. There's nothing grandiose about it. It's, it's very simple uh, looking, simple elegance, uh, much like I, I think I described the Diplomat Traveler. Just simple elegance. It's just a beautiful pen. You open it up, it's got a a metal grip, but it's not slippery. It is a cartridge converter pin. The good news is the Diplomat's uh, pins take uh, or use inter standard international uh, cartridges and converters. It'll take the, either the short cartridge or the long cartridge. You, and of course you can fit two short cartridges in there for the, for the backup or the spacer. They're a converter, I believe, is made by the Schmidt Company. Uh, just because I have some other Schmidt uh, converters and the build, it all looks the same. The difference with the Diplomat converter is you have the Diplomat logo. And if, uh, if I didn't have any ink here, uh, maybe I'll post a picture up over here. But you would be able to see the... Uh, diplomat uh, logo across there. Just a little extra touch there. The Excellence A, but I just love it. It has it has some nice weight. The the weight is so balanced. It does post. It's a little heavy for me if it's posted. It's an all metal uh, body. It's brass lacquered uh, with the various colors. But it's, it's, it has such a nice balance. It just it makes writing so easy. You don't feel it doesn't feel weighted to where it's going to slip down out of your hand if you don't hold it too tight, which is great because that's one of the reasons why I love fountain pens. You don't have to apply a bunch of pressure, which means you don't have to hold your pen so tight. You just let it rest in your hand. And a pen should be able to rest in your hand without slipping this way or being off balance, want to rock back. You shouldn't have to wrestle with your pen to use it. My friends, they're not the cheapest pen on the market, but they're an excellent investment, I think. If you love fountain pens, you love writing with a fountain pen, you want a fountain pen that has a little bit of weight, then my friends, this is the pen to get. All right, with that, We'll show you some uh, dimensions of the pen, and then we will uh, go into the uh, close-up look of the pen, as well as uh, comparison, size comparisons with other pens, and a writing sample. Here we have the pen the Diplomat Excellence A in Evergreen. 
has a very nice, I, I just love the green on this. This is one of the, the selling points for me. I like deep greens. And this one expresses that just beautifully. The body is a, is probably brass with an acrylic type finish to it. The clip has the distinctive Diplomat ink drop on it. It is a very, it is a nice um, springy type of clip. Now this is going to be a difference. Again, this is a Diplomat A. The, the new Diplomat A Plus and Diplomat A2 both have a hinged clip, but this clip is perfectly fine. It doesn't, in my opinion, it does not need to be hinged. It holds very well in, in your pocket or uh, in your shirt by your buttons and whatnot. So you, you, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna go wrong with this. Then on the cap, you have the distinct uh, Diplomat ink flower on the cat or the band you have let's see diplomats across the top there very fine writing and then underneath that it says since uh, 1922 and then uh, and then on the back it's just states that it's made in Germany. All right, it is a uh, click, click pin, click mechanism, or snap, snap cap, I guess you call that. Comes right off, has a nice, let's see, there we go. This one, I've used this for a while, so it's pretty easy uh, to come off, but it holds, holds very firmly. It twists a little bit, but I mean, you don't really notice that. The, the body finial is just a pretty simple uh, curved piece of uh, gold plated brass there. And there is a slight bit of a fair, flare, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, this does post. And it holds very well. It is. I, I don't really feel like it's. It like it's. Let me turn it a little bit there. Like it's back weighted at all. So if you like to post, it'll it'll work fine. I I don't post my pins as I've mentioned in the past. Uh, but still, even unposted, there's a lot of extra uh, real estate there to hold in your hand. The nib has the distinct. Again, the distinct uh, Diplomat ink flower and across top there, Diplomat since 1922. This is a 14 karat nib and a medium. Has that little bit of a flare if you like that on your pins to keep your finger, I guess, from sliding down. Now the the grip section again is a smooth. It's a uh, some people may think of it as being slippery. I personally don't find it slippery. My hands uh, tend to be on the dry side, so I don't know if that makes a difference. But um, this pen pen uh, fares very well in the hand. I just uh, I just love this pen. All right, there you have it. The Diplomats Excellence A in Evergreen. Okay, you have the, uh, a variety of colors in the uh, Excellence A series. And this is the Midnight Blue with a chrome finish on the clip and band and the finials and so forth. And then... You have the black with the gold uh, finish. The Marrakesh, kind of a brown, brown finish there with gold. And then the ever 
the evergreen. So some very, uh, I think, very uh, pretty colors. Ah, they're rolling, rolling away on my table there. Now there's also there's also uh, there's the Excellence A series has a has a a lot of variety as far as colors and designs is probably the you know, the most as far as variety although the arrow arrow I think is catching up if it hasn't already surpassed it uh, so anyway I I just encourage you these are I like deeper colors and so this is what I ended up with these are all the excellence A's I don't have any A2's or A, A pluses very nice and here we have the diplomat excellence A compared with its other cousins the arrow the Traveler, Diplom these are all Diplomats, obviously, by the ink drops, right? Uh, the Traveler and the Esteem. And here they are, unposted. As you can tell, that distinct uh, difference in the, in the nib sizes there. we got the two with the number sixes and the esteem is more like a number five and the traveler more like a i guess a number four and here they are posted i like to compare the sizes not by the end of the nib but by the end of the or the base, I'd rather, not by the tip of the nib, I'm, uh, I should say, uh, rather I like to compare them at the base of the nib because that's where you're pretty much gonna be, everybody's gonna hold them right around the same uh, place. So you can see the difference. Obviously the smaller the nib, the, the greater the angle you're gonna be writing at. And here we have a comparison with uh, a little more uh, widely known pens. Of course, we have the Pilot Metropolitan, the Lamy All Star, the Twisby Eco, and the Diplomat A, Excellence A, and the Pilot Custom 823. And here we have. All the pins unposted, obviously. And again, see the different uh, sizes of the nibs. Your grips, it's always interesting to see the different area of the grip sections that the, the various manufacturers use and even within their models like the Pilots. Uh, some are a little longer, some are shorter. All of these are quality pins. And here they are all posted. As you can see, there's quite a difference in the length of the various pins. I guess that's why one of the reasons why I don't like to write with mine posted is the, the uh, back end just sticks out way, way, way too far and just seems awkward visually to me. Not always uh, by the weight of the pen, but visual, visually, it just seems awkward. Now obviously you got like the pilot metro it's a good good size right there and as i as i mentioned the the diplomat excellence a it wasn't really that uncomfortable but still for me i i don't really prefer it posted but a lot of people do uh, just to keep that uh, cap out of the way and now for the writing sample using uh, Rhodia paper. So we have the, that was just because the pen was kind of dried out a little bit after messing with it uncapped and so forth. So you have the Diplomats. Looks 
excellence a medium nib 14 carat I am using Monteverde Olivine. Okay, as far as ink flow, very nice. This is uh, somewhat of a, a drier uh, flow of flowing ink. Not too bad. And then as far as line variation, can get some. It's not a flex nib. That's good. Okay, let's see. Writing sample. All right, writing increases brain power. Yeah, so what else? Very smooth nib. You'd expect that with the gold nib, but even with uh, all of, even with uh, Diplomat's steel nibs, they're, they're well known for being very smooth. Okay, there's our writing sample. This makes you happy. All right. Well, there you have it. The Diplomat Excellence A. I want to thank you for tuning in to, the, to my channel and encourage you to subscribe. And if you liked the video, if it was helpful for you, uh, go ahead and hit the like button there too. Uh, I'm trying to put out uh, reviews once a week and some other information maybe in between that i'd like to kind of pick that up for you i'm doing this as a benefit for you because i know how watching various reviews help me to make more informed decisions on the pens i've i've bought also i would encourage you to check out my playlists because in that i will have some other videos with the where other reviewers have taken a look at the Excellence A and some would have the Excellence A plus, Excellence A2. I'll try to throw those in because it's my desire to help you. And so if I'm being a help to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe. So when I come out with another video, you'll be the first to see it. And there should be a little bell when you subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell and you'll be notified as soon as they come out. All right. Thanks again. Here's a couple other videos uh, for you to watch that will uh, hopefully be uh, good information for you as well. One of those is why in the world did I ever get into fountain pens? All right. Have a great day.